Hey everyone, I'm Evan, and this is the iRocker Blackfin Paddleboard, the Model X, as you can see on the side there. And today we're going to be doing a full-on review of this paddleboard. So uh, let's do it. Welcome everyone, in this video we're going to be reviewing the iRocker Blackfin inflatable paddleboard. And just for convenience, all the product links are going to be in the description as well as any discount codes. So feel free to check those out. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate it because we look forward to making a lot more content on paddleboarding, the outdoors, and all the crazy adventures that we get up to in the Rocky Mountains. So first, here are the specs for the iRocker Blackfin Inflatable Paddleboard. It's 10 and a half feet long and 35 inches wide, which means this board's gonna be really stable, great for fishing, great for beginners. If we take a look at the top of the board, we got some bungee straps on both the front and the back for securing all sorts of luggage and cargo, and action mounts located all over the board for GoPros, rod holders, all sorts of different things. It's also got two attach points for the iRocker fishing rack, and it's got handles all over the board, so it's easy to secure extra luggage and easy to carry the board around. There's also some attach points for the kayak seat, which is great. And you don't just get the board, you get all the accessories and of course, the awesome backpack, which we're gonna start with first. We're gonna take a look at that right now. And I have to say, this is one of the best designed backpacks I've ever seen for a paddleboard. It's got some heavy duty straps, it's even got hip support, so it's great for hiking into remote locations. It's also got some wheels, so you can wheel it around like a suitcase. But let's get this thing opened up and see what's inside. So first, we're going to pull out the pump. Now this is a double barrel, triple action pump, and you're going to see why this is so awesome in a minute. And we're going to get out the three-piece paddle. This is a carbon paddle. It's really light, really easy to set up, and it's adjustable. So if you're tall or short or whatever your height is, don't worry. iRocker's got you covered. So I'm going to adjust the paddle to my height set it aside and let's get this paddleboard out of the backpack. Let's unroll it and start inflating it. Now iRocker was really smart when they included this double barrel triple action pump. You can see it's got three settings there. We're going to start on setting number one to start. It's got a pressure gauge at the top. We want to fill this board to 14 to 18 psi. And we'll undo the fill cap, attach our hose, and we're gonna start pumping on stage one. So that's setting number one, and that utilizes both barrels and fills the board on both the upstroke and the downstroke. This is kind of like high gear. It's gonna fill the board initially really, really fast. And then when you get tired, you can go to stage number two, and that's just gonna fill the board on the downstroke. So it's gonna get a little bit easier to pump. And if that's too hard, you can switch to stage three, which only utilizes one barrel and inflates only on the downstroke. This is the easiest pump setting, but it also fills the board quite a bit slower, but we use this to get up to the max PSI that we want, which in this case, we're only gonna go to 17 PSI. And we'll attach the cover and attach our leash, which is a 10 foot leash, really easy to secure with this little Velcro system there. We'll get that tucked away. Now we're gonna attach the fins, and what iRocker did here is absolutely brilliant. Instead of those really frustrating clips, iRocker developed a flip lock type system, which makes attaching the fins super simple, really easy to attach, and uh, easy to remove later on. All you have to do is lift the tab up, put the fin in, and push the tab down into the lock position. And we'll set the board down, be nice and gentle. And secure the paddle in the stretchy bungees, and we are basically ready to hit the water and test this thing out. Here's one more view of the top of the board. You can see all the attach points and different ways you can utilize this paddle board. Now, I decided to wait till the evening when the weather got a little bit better. We got a nice view of the mountain in the background to go for a paddle. So I'm gonna secure my life vest on the back, and heck, I'm gonna throw on a fly rod here because we'll maybe do a little bit of fishing, get it down the bank and into the water. All right. This is how you get on a paddleboard without falling in. It works 99% of the time. The other 1% of the time, you fall in. So just watch. Oh, by the way, we're getting onto the board facing backwards. Then we're gonna switch around so we're facing the right direction. So this is what I do. All 
All right, so that was pretty seamless. Now, this board is extremely stable. It's 35 inches wide, so it's great for beginner paddlers, or if anybody wants to start fishing off a paddle board, this is the board to get. And it tracks fast through the water. Even though it's 35 inches wide, this board is just as fast, if not faster, than any other sup I've used in the past. Even fishing off this board is about as simple as it gets. It's so stable, you can cast, you can reposition your feet, you can move to different spots on the board very easily. And it's maneuverable because it's only 10 and a half feet long. But obviously this is a calm lake on a calm day. So we decided to amp things up and take the black fin down this fast moving river in the Rocky Mountains. I'm scared. I've paddleboarded on lots of different types of moving water, but this really pushes the testing limits of stability and agility. Oh, yeah. uh -oh. But because this black fin is so stable, even on moving water, fishing is really easy. And when it comes to durability, Blackfin is built like a tank. We drag this thing through shallow water, we bang the fins up, we crash it into logs, rocks, beaver dams, sharp sticks and twigs and trees, anything we could to test these boards out. And they performed flawlessly, which is really important if you wanna buy an inflatable sup that's gonna last you a long time. Oh my goodness. Then this is definitely the best option out there. Especially if you're an outdoor enthusiast, love fishing, and you need something dependable. We've taken these paddle boards on so many different fishing trips and backcountry adventures. They've been phenomenal. And it's one of the first boards that I learned on. So I highly recommend if you want a stable board because you're a beginner, take a look at the black one. Is this not the coolest place ever? Another reason I love the Blackfin paddleboard is the weight capacity. You can put up to 450 pounds on this thing, so use those bungees to strap down all the things you want to carry with you. And a little hint, I sometimes bring a cooler with me, in this case the little Yeti, which fits perfectly on the front of the board. Even with all your gear strapped on, the paddleboard's idea. still light enough to carry. This is a great idea. It's a great idea because we're not dead yet. Too, I think we got all the gear we need. Because this board packs up nice and small and is really lightweight, I've actually brought it along in a lot of small airplanes. And when you're done on the water, packing this board up is as easy as it gets. Taking the fins off is really simple thanks to the iRocker flip lock design. You take the paddle apart and then with the push of one button, you can deflate the board and start rolling it up. A little tip, I like to use a rag to wipe off any excessive dirt and any of the water that's sticking at the bottom of the board before I pack it away. Now, it fits nice and snug in the backpack, put the paddle in there and the pump, zip it all up, and I like to put the fins in this accessory little pocket here. And before you know it, you got it strapped to your back and you're ready to head off to the next cool spot that you want to paddle. So if you're interested in buying a black fin paddleboard or any of the other awesome paddleboards by iRocker so you can explore planet Earth and find cool places like the secret hidden cave, then check out the links in the description and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there's so much more content we're gonna be creating and it's gonna be an awesome journey, but it's gonna be even awesomer if you come along with us. Thanks for watching everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links down below and we'll see you next time.